In the rainforest of Costa Rica lives a ghost. One that we have been chasing for many years. Yet, it has eluded us time and again. But tonight, that's all about to change. Hear that? Oh, guys. Oh my God. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Vins, and welcome back to another special adventure brought to you by B&H Photo. Tonight, we are going out in the jungle looking for a ghost. No, not a paranormal ghost, a living ghost, one that we will actually find if we can locate its habitat. This animal loves moving water. So in order to find out where we need to hike tonight, we need to use the light of day and our drone to see where the stream systems exist on this property. First things first, before we can fly the drone, we've got to set it up. And today, we are flying the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. This is a really awesome drone, but for us today, it's more of a reconnaissance tool so we can see the area that we're gonna be adventuring in tonight. And lift off. All right, we are up in the sky. Oh man. You know what, there's like all kinds of clouds coming in right now. This actually looks gorgeous, check that out. So glass frogs, an arboreal frog that lives up off the ground, love river systems because that's where they lay their eggs and develop their tadpoles. Now, if we can locate water, there's a pretty good chance that we could put ourselves there, and listen for the calls of the glass frog, and then locate the ghost glass frog. Okay, I'm gonna fly due east, and we wanna mark the ridges and the approximate distance to get to these streams and rivers and hopefully get eyes on one of the streams that's closest to us as a starting point. And we want to maybe sketch the shape and some distinct features sure. to help us get there. Okay. So you see the ridge right in front of us, that's, we'll call that ridge one. And there's definitely a secondary ridge over top of it. Okay. And this is the great part about scouting with the drone. You really can see the topography in an area like Costa Rica, which is very mountainous and hilly. and just confusing at night. I mean, right, Mario? You can easily yeah. get turned around out there in the jungle, but by having a map at our aid, it's going to make tonight's expedition that much more efficient. This vegetation is dense. Even from the sky, it is difficult to see anything in those trees. That's water. Got it. So you see the way that curves around? So yep. over ridge one, and then on the downside of ridge two, the stream comes from the south and goes just north and then bends back west. Yep. And then you see that cluster of rocks? Yep. I think that could be our uh, kind of landmark, maybe our entryway. Based on the fact that that was over 2,500 meters of flight, we're going to estimate to get down here because of the terrain up and down, that's going to be about another two kilometers. Okay. Three kilometers total in hiking tonight. Okay. And then you have a compass on your watch, which will really come in handy. Yep. So we've got the map. We know where the stream is at. All we gotta do is wait until it gets dark. And of course, bring that drone back. I hear it. There it is, yeah. So we did a manned launch, and right now we're going to do a catch landing. This is not for a novice drone pilot. Gotcha. All right, well, that's a wrap on recon. Let's head back and wait for darkness. As you can see, night has descended upon us, and it's time to search the rainforest for the ghost glass frog. Let's turn our headlamps on and hit the trail. I'm scanning around, I'm listening. I do hear something coming from over here. I think I hear a call. Hear that? It's coming from right up here. Let's check this out. Oh, yep, right there, look at that. Our first glass frog, cool. Now, first things first, I'm just gonna leave it alone for a second so I get my hands wet. I don't wanna handle a frog with dry hands. Let me see if I can get this frog off its perch. Come here, little guy. Perfect, there we go. Okay, this is not the Elix or the ghost glass frog, but it's actually one of the smallest species of glass frog here in Costa Rica, and it's the Spinosa glass frog, otherwise known as the dwarf glass frog. One of the first distinct characteristics you will notice about the glass frog 
is besides being that really cool translucent green, is their eyes are actually set forward as opposed to the side like we'd see in a red-eye leaf frog or some of the other frogs that we have here in Costa Rica. And that forward set eye pattern is what gives them that really cool Kermit the Frog look that they're so famous for. I think we've had it off his leaf for long enough. Let's put it back and keep searching. We've got a long night ahead of us if we're gonna find that ghost. We've gone about a kilometer east so far and we know our final destination or the water source that we're looking for is about three kilometers east. Looks like we need to go a little northeast. Mario, you seeing that? Yep, according to my compass on my watch, yeah, if we go in this direction, it'll be kind of slightly northeast and then okay. uh, I think we'll get on that eastern trail as well. It's funny, when you first step foot off trail, there's always this sensation that comes over you. It's just like a heightened awareness. Walking on the trail feels safe. Walking off the trail feels hazardous just by nature. So you tend to move a little bit more deliberately and you just, you see more. It's, it's really a, uh, an awesome thing to get off trail. You've got a little bit of groundwater starting here. That means the bigger stream is definitely nearby. Let's head on here and get to the start of the stream. <gasps> Dude, Fertilance. Where? Huge. Let me see. Holy smokes. Look at his head. Whoa. Oh my God. Whew. That is a formidable snake right there. Good spot, Mario. Do you want the snake hook? Uh, no, I don't think we're gonna mess with it. Just gonna get a nice shot of it. So the Fertilance relies on its cryptic coloration to blend into the environment. And an animal in this position could stay in wait for hours without moving a single muscle. The name of the game is waiting when you are an ambush predator. And a snake like this has all the time in the world to wait for an unsuspecting prey item. That is exactly why you have to watch every single step you take out here because your next step could be on something like that fair to lance. And that'd be a very bad day for us. It looks like it's flattening out a little bit, which is good news for us. We can really start looking. I just heard a glass frog, guys, up this way. It's a very quick chirp. It's like a... Hear that? Oh, guys, we got one. Yes! Oh, man, I knew I heard one. All right, here we go. Hands wet, gonna gently Take it off the leaf. I am so excited to show you this frog and you're going to see why we came all this way to show you the ghost of the rainforest, the ghost glass frog. How cool are those eyes? So cryptic and so unique. In my opinion, this frog has the coolest eyes in all of frogs in Central and South America. We're gonna break out the lights, we're gonna break out the macro lens, and we're gonna bring you in close so you can get a good look at why this frog is so special. Mario, you got that macro lens ready to go? Yep, got the lens and the EOS R on the tripod. And I've got the ghost glass frog. Oh, looking right at you. I think it sees its reflection in your lens there and it's like, who's that? That looks like me. Hey, buddy. Let me help you there, Mario. Okay, back it up just a little bit. Right there. Trying to remain as still as I possibly can for Mario's shot right now so everyone at home can see those magnificent eyes. They look cool? Yeah, they're kind of um, reticulated. They got this pattern on them. I'm gonna pause there. Let's try to get a different angle on them. Okay, just carefully nudge it. This How's way. it doing? Is it doing good? Oh my goodness. That's good. Let's, oh, let's, that's let's cool get right that. There. Let's get its little pads. Yeah. So this species does not have a completely transparent ventrum. However, I could see a little bit of the white sheath of intestinal tract inside of its stomach. And I could actually see like the beating of the heart. I'm glad you brought that up, Mario, because a lot of people think that all glass frogs have a completely transparent stomach. And that is not true, in fact, it is more of the exception than the rule when that does occur. Now, if you have seen our previous glass frog episode, that was a species with a completely clear ventral side where you could actually see the heart beating and the blood flowing through the frog, which was pretty amazing. Another cool thing about the ghost glass frog, it is actually the largest species of glass frog in Costa Rica. So 
kind of fitting that we started tonight with the dwarf glass frog or the spinosa, which is the smallest, and we land on the ghost glass frog, which is the biggest, but still pretty small. It's winking at you. I think he just complimented you, Mario. He's like, wink, that's a great shot. Well, I hope you see now why it was worth the effort to come all the way down here to find the ghost of the rainforest, the ghost glass frog. And I do wanna give a special thank you to our friends at b &H Photo for sponsoring this episode and putting together a number of amazing deal packages for everybody at home. So if you go to www.bhphoto.com forward slash brave right now, you can take advantage of those exclusive offers. Oh, and don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another adventure with me and the crew. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you next time. All right, let's put this guy back on his leaf and head home. If you enjoyed the search for the ghost glass frog, then definitely go and check out an exclusive video featuring another rare species by clicking the join button and becoming a member of the Brave Wilderness channel. Look how awesome the pattern on the back of that frog is.